Aries, 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 Aries. Doom, 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 doom. Aries, Aries, Aries. Hi, Aries. Welcome to your reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you had a good Christmas, my loves. You know, um, happy holidays to each and every last one of you and many blessings into the new year. Thank you, Aries, so much for your support, your love uh, towards me and this channel here. I mean, it really doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you, Aries. Are you the same? Oh my God. All right, getting straight into it, guys. Let's see what is coming towards you in love. As always said, only take what you feel makes sense for your situation. Um, do not try to make everything from a general reading fit your situation. And in the event you would like to know something more definite, then please um, don't be afraid to book a reading. I do offer personal readings in the description box down below. Okay. What's coming to Aries and love? Aries. What is coming to Aries and love? Aries, for some of you, I'm hearing some, some, some freak is getting out of jail. <laughs> I'm hearing some freak is getting out of jail, Aries. Okay, for some of you. All right, what is coming to Aries in love? For others of you, I'm getting that. For others of you, I'm getting that there is, you know, someone may be coming out of some kind of situation that they put themselves in, possibly. You know, this could be overthinking. This could be, you know, getting out of a relationship that made them feel trapped or something like that, okay? But let's pull more cards. What's coming to Aries in love? What's coming to Aries in love? Ew. Hold on now. What is coming to Aries in love, Spirit? What is coming to Aries in love? Hmm. Okay. You have the Nine of Cups reverse. You know, you could be dealing with the water sign, the Knight of Pentacles. What's coming to Aries in love, Aries? So I do see somebody possibly returning to you, Aries. This could be someone who walked away from you. Um, maybe you walked away from this person. Who's coming to Aries in love? Who's coming to Aries in love? Who's coming to Aries in love? Ace of Cups. I feel like this may be someone to where you were kind of disappointed in the past, Aries. Um, or, you know, someone, you know, this probably didn't really fall through. There was some kind of... Um, disappointment here with this Nine of Cups reverse. Okay, so someone may have left a, a relationship or something that wasn't really fulfilling. Um, this could be an ex for some of you, right? Or someone just left the connection behind that they felt was not very fulfilling. For those of you, I'm also hearing some freak may have thought the grass was greener and they realize that it's not. <laughs> um, so yeah, Aries, that's what we have here. I feel like, you know, there's been a little hesitancy, like a little fear coming back towards you, Aries, or for someone to go back to somebody or something like that. But I feel like someone is getting out of their head and they are going to at least attempt it. So we do have some communication showing up here. Can we done with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or an earth sign strongly, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? So tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse for Aries in love. Now, for those in relationships, maybe someone wasn't really happy here. They weren't getting their needs met or something in a situation was making someone feel a little miserable. However, I feel like someone wants to turn that around, Aries. Page of Cups. I feel like for some of you, I keep on hearing that someone's realizing that they do like need you. Okay. Um, someone's realizing that they just feel lost without you. They don't want to be without you or something like that. It's interesting. There's maybe someone who kind of needed to grow up a little bit. Okay. It a cups reverse for Aries in love. Wow. See, this is what I'm trying to say. Somebody's returning here because they're starting to see the worth of the other person. They, they're coming back to nurture a connection. They're coming back to, um, to love someone properly. Okay. 
whereas they probably weren't before. Maybe this is someone who needed to kind of mature. Um, for a lot of you, I do get that this is someone from the past, okay? For some of you, it could be new. But there was uh, something that was done here that was kind of painful in the past, okay? So Knight of Coins. So basically, that is the offer here. That is the offer. You have somebody who is coming in here um, that wants to walk a straight line, Aries, is what I'm feeling. They want to walk a straight line now. Is what they want to do. Ten of Cups. So now they're starting to see that, you know, um, this was, you know, the, the, the person for them was, was right by their side or with them all along. You know, this could be a soulmate connection because we do have a few indicators of a soulmate connection. Okay. I feel like someone's returning to try to um, do things differently here. Someone's returning to walk in a straight line, be more reliable. Okay. Be trustworthy. Um, somebody who actually is serious this time around, possibly. All right. Six of Cups for Aries. So heart of the spread, six of cups. You know, you guys will reconcile, that's for sure. Yep, that and the six of uh, the ace of wands. Reconciliation. And what they're offering is love, Aries. They are offering true and genuine love. New person or old person, this person is offering genuine, authentic love. This person sees a future with you, Aries. They do, even if they weren't seeing it before. They could be offering some kind of renewal here. Okay, this could be an Aquarius. All right, we have Taurus and Libra. So you may feel conflicted as to what you want to do here. Or, you know, someone's going to feel a little conflicted. Yes or no, maybe so. Um, three of Swords reverse for Aries. They want to get back together, the lovers. For those of you in relationships, there was probably this feeling of, oh, the grass is greener, you know, oh no. They learned the hard way that it's not. It's greener where you water it. And now they want to come back and water the airy, the airy from Paris. They want to water the airy from Paris. So they're going to pick up the phone here, Aries. And this is the offer. This is the offer. Two of cups. Yep, that's what they want. Now, guys, I know some of you could say, oh, third party. Well, unfortunately, I don't just say third party unless there's multiple um, third party indicators, okay? This doesn't really say third party, so not everyone's dealing with a third party. If you are, then you're going to need to take that into consideration and use your proper discernment, okay? But just because you are in a third party doesn't mean everyone's in a third party. So we have the magician flying out. I feel like somebody really wants to make this happen with you they want to make it work with you Aries they don't want to lose you they don't want to lose you and what I was saying in the beginning is that you know I was getting this energy of someone kind of being afraid to come back to somebody after doing this or not treating the other too well whatever um but at the end of the day I mean someone is really starting to see your value Aries this could be someone you have a child with, children with. In relationships, I feel like there's this energy of wanting to have a renewal with each other. You know, seeing a future again, seeing the glasses half full. You know, I do get that strongly, Aries. So it's going to be, once again, your discretion. I don't tell anyone what to do. But if you are thinking about taking this person back, Aries, if there is not a third party, okay, then you do have the pretty stamp of approval, Aries, because I don't see um, I don't see anything wrong here. I really don't. Perhaps this person needed to kind of mature or even grow up, but they've learned the hard way, Aries, that, uh, you know, the grass is green where you water it and they want to um, flourish and grow with you. That's what they want, Aries. Wow. Okay. All right, Aries. Well, I'm here for it, my loves. I'm really here for it. I'm here for it. 
And, you know, you could even be the Aries that's going back to somebody, you know, doing this. Because, you know, the Eight of Cups reverse to me often says somebody who is, who kind of, who may have walked away. Or maybe they thought about walking away. I um, mean, they're, they're coming back here. They're coming back here. All right, what else is coming to Aries in this love situation? Aries. You're kind of wondering, you know, can I trust this person? Can I trust this situation? Um... You know, is this going to bear fruit? Is this person serious? And yeah, Aries, I do feel like they're serious, Aries. I do feel like this they're serious. They are so serious, Aries. Wow. Four of Wands, Judgment. Somebody wants to come back into union with you, Aries, for sure. And I do feel like this is um, a spiritual connection. Twin Flame or a soulmate. Some of you could have a decision between a Twin Flame and a damn soulmate. <laughs> Okay, so it's up to you. I mean, both situations look good. When the King of Swords shows up, it's good because it means that this person is very serious. They're clear. They're clear. They know what they want, Aries. Um, and they want to do this. They want to do this, Aries. Harry from Paris. This is what they want, Harry from Paris. Please give it to them. <laughs> Please give it to them, Harry from Paris. It could be the Gemini. Okay. Let's see what messages this person has for you, Aries. Okay, for some of you, this person, they may have wanted to play the field, so you let them go. Okay? What does this person want to communicate to Aries? Okay. All right. What does this person want to communicate to Aries? Aries. They compare others to you. They haven't been able to find anyone else. This freak has been all around the world. They've searched all around and they, they still haven't been able to find anyone better than you. Yeah, see, some of you, they had to learn the hard way. They went to go explore their options or something like that. And they realized there's nothing like you. And this is why they're about to do this. They apologize for all they put you through. Okay, some of you, this may be someone who is afraid of getting hurt. Wow. So this freak is drinking and self-sabotaging over you. They say I'm coming back soon. You also have I refuse to let you go. Yeah, this is someone who caused you some type of dis uh, disappointment. Okay, in the past. Yeah, I'm, I'm a player in the reverse. This freak may have been a player. And now they don't want to be a I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush it in the high. Are you still single? That's what they want to know. Will you reject me? They miss you so much. They don't know how to tell you that they love you. If you're with someone, please leave them for me. Let me get one more. Final message. Final message for Aries. Final message. Oh, I text and call you from fake numbers. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, I stay up and think about you. Well, Ellie from Paris, it's up to you, boo boo. All right. Let's get some uh, messages from this big deck here. Oh, that sounded wrong. Big deck. They want to know if you can meet up, Aries. So you have losing hope, plans to propose. Wow. Deep seated issues for some of you. Ooh, they want to get married. Hmm. This is someone who's ready to commit or they're going to be ready to actually go through with this. You know, trust may be a factor here. Your love is my drug. Starting a relationship. They may even offer you a relationship. You know, let's do this thing, Aries. <laughs> could be too little too late, though. Some of you could be taken already. Or you're with someone else. First thing on my mind in the morning. Yeah, so for some of you, this freak wanted to play the field. It's what they wanted to do. It's what they wanted to do. Well. <laughs> yeah, this person doesn't want to be without you. I'm hearing I'm hearing that song um by Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Some of you this could be a Capricorn because Mary is a Capricorn. Yeah, this person, I, they, they realize that they really don't want to be without you. 
They really don't. Um, and here they come, Aries. Here they come, my love. All right. That's what we have for you, Aries. I hope this reading gave you the clarity that you were looking for at this point in time. Okay. I love you all very much. And I will talk to you guys soon.